So uh, having the the Fourth of July celebrations coming up this uh, weekend at AY McDonald Park, obviously a lot of people condensed in one area. Uh, it seems like the department, uh, the other area agencies have had quite a few years to prepare for uh, these types of events. But just what are some of the considerations that go into the amount of manpower that is there? Uh, how officers can interact with people and try to keep the peace with with such a large crowd. Yeah, we we deploy. A lot of officers get mandated to work this event on an overtime basis. Um, as we discussed, a few actually sign up and volunteer knowing that they're probably going to get mandated anyway, have a little bit better options in terms of what their role might be down there. But we do have 20 plus officers plus our uh, police auxiliary, which are all volunteers that help us out immensely down there at that event. And this is a multi-agency effort too with the sheriff's office, the surrounding agencies in the different states, Illinois, Wisconsin, um, you know, DNR, we have personnel on the water, on the ground, um, and we've done enough of these events, especially this one in particular, we have a pretty good idea what to expect in terms of um, attendance and potential issues and problems, so we feel we're pretty well prepared to deal with it, um, but nonetheless we also know that there may be a few um, unexpected events or situations that develop and we'll have to deal with them as we, as we get them, but we do feel we're sufficiently staffed not only at the event, but we're not leaving the city empty handed either. We have um, a regular patrol shift dealing with issues happening in the city during this event, so I feel we're pretty well, well prepared for it.